I'm Danny Epperson and I'm inside the breathtaking Commodore Dinner Theater in downtown Portsmouth. Thanks for joining me for WHRO's Cinema 15 and our presentation of 1980's The Elephant Man. We have a haunting and beautiful film for you this week, shot in dramatic black and white, years after color cinematography dominated the medium. The Elephant Man stars Anthony Hopkins and John Hurt, who is completely unrecognizable in the title role due to the masterful makeup effects. More on that later. The story is based on a historical figure, Joseph Merrick, or John Merrick as he is called in the movie. Merrick lived in 19th century London and was severely deformed. His condition was not due to elephantitis, but actually from a rare medical condition called Proteus syndrome, which causes organs and tissues to grow out of proportion to the rest of the body. The story follows Merrick's journey from freak show attraction to high society curiosity. Hopkins plays Dr. Frederick Treves, the man who studies Merrick and learns to appreciate his humanity. The film was directed by a newcomer by the name of David Lynch. His only other feature directing credit was Eraserhead, a cult midnight film he made as a fellow at the American Film Institute. Producer Mel Brooks, yes, that Mel Brooks, was impressed by the beauty and nightmarish landscapes of Eraserhead and chose Lynch to direct his movie. A big risk to take on an unproven young talent. But Brooks knew Lynch could handle the story's pairing of the beautiful and the grotesque. Interestingly, Brooks kept his name off the project because he didn't want anyone assuming that it was a broad comedy like Blazing Saddles or Young Frankenstein. It's certainly no comedy. I'll be back with more behind the scenes stories after the movie, but for now, hit the lights and get ready for The Elephant Man. Such a powerful film and what a performance by John Hurt. Christopher Tucker, credited as the makeup creator, was given access to casts of Merrick's body, which had been held in the Royal London Hospital's private museum for 90 years. Tucker made his designs directly from these casts. In order to play the role of Elephant Man, Hurt underwent seven to eight hours of makeup every day of production. The prosthetics weighed around 20 pounds and were glued to his head and shoulders. Early on during production, Hurt tried to catch a quick nap before the shoot started. After all, he was seven hours into his day before filming even began, and that would last another 10 hours. As he reclined, the weight of the prosthetics put incredible pressure on his neck, and he almost strangled. Hurt then had to learn to nap sitting up just as Merrick had to do in real life. As we saw in the film, it was Merrick's decision to sleep lying down that led to his demise. The Elephant Man was a commercial and critical success and earned an impressive eight Academy Award nominations, tying Raging Bull for the most that year. The 53rd Annual Academy Awards. However, the film didn't take home any Oscars. Certainly, it deserved one for best makeup, right? Well, in 1980, there was no such award and people in the industry were outraged. There was even a letter of protest demanding an honorary award for the extraordinary work. While the Academy declined, they were inspired the next year to establish a new category, Best Makeup. Well, henceforth be honored with their own Oscars. The winner is Rick Baker for An American Werewolf in London. The movie didn't just inspire a new award, it also inspired a Hollywood career. A young Bradley Cooper saw Hurt's remarkable performance as a child and decided then and there he had to become an actor. He got his chance to play the role of the Elephant Man in the Broadway revival in 2013. Well, that's all I have for this week. I'm Danny Epperson and I'll see you next time for WHRO's Cinema 15 and another classic movie.